I'm going to put some tunes in the travel trailer. So I picked up these uh, white speakers, which are waterproof. Not that I need that for the interior, but uh, I just really wanted the white and, and uh, them to be water resistant, maybe. So these are a built-in grill. The grill doesn't come off. Really shallow, which is nice. It's an inch and a half, because it, so they would fit in the inch and a half studded walls of, of this travel trailer. And I picked up some baffles because of where I'm going to mount these. Um, it's up in the, in the cargo area uh, up top. So I wanted to protect the back of the speakers here from getting stuff down inside. So we'll put this baffle in there. Uh, I have my antenna. Unfortunately, my the deck, the receiver, hasn't shown up yet. So uh, I'll show you that after it shows up here in a day or two. So this uh, is the upper cabinet area where I want to put these speakers. I'm going to trim this out uh, with some wood trim first, but I'm going to put them right here. Cut a hole here, which will put them in here. Um, and that's why I bought the baffles to protect them from any cargo that we might put in here. Even though this should just be like blankets and stuff. But so that's where they'll go. Uh, I considered putting a piece of plywood here and sealing this whole area off. And then it would almost have like a speaker box because it would fit in that inch and a half space. So that's another option, but I'm just going to use those baffles for now and get started. So I just happened to pick up this five inch hole saw at the uh, thrift store, Union Gospel Mission thrift store for five bucks months ago. And I'm just now getting use out of it. So that's going to be awesome for this. But if I didn't have that, I found this five inch grinder disc that would make a nice template. And I measured four and a half in, four and a half from there, just to give it some space. And you can throw this grinder disc up there, trace it out, and you can cut this out with your reciprocating saw, your jigsaw. But uh, for now, luckily, I've got this awesome hole saw. So let's get drilling. Get that centered up. That might be the best five bucks I've ever spent because that took about 30 seconds. And uh, be sure when you're doing this that you <laughs> clean out anything that's on this side before you start drilling holes, all right? All right, got the second hole drilled, drilled. So that's a five inch hole, even those are, these are five and a quarter speakers. The, this, we're going for this inner diameter right here, not the outer diameter of that, so. So there's a little bit of play there, but it's pretty good. Well, way better than using a jigsaw if you got a big five inch hole saw. All right, so these, next we're gonna put in these baffles. Here's your part number. These are the ones that I use, five and a quarter round. And um, here's their part number for these speakers as well if you want it. So, from what I've seen, you're supposed to take these baffles and you would set your speaker in there and center it and then trim it and you would then squish the foam of the baffle in uh, behind the speaker grill. But that's going to leave this foam sticking out on the side of my white grills with the white ceiling and I don't want that. So I think I might just put some adhesive around these and put them on the inside of the cabinet or I could through bolt. So the hardware that it came with, the hardware that this came with were these, um, I call them machine screws or wood screws, but then you have what, I, what I've called speed nuts and you could crimp these on maybe a piece of sheet metal then and then you would uh, be able to screw in there but I don't want these screw tip the tips of these screws poking up through into my upper cabinets up there poking things so what I might do is get some uh, get some machine screws or some actual uh, small bolts that'll fit in here and I'll through bolt 
and then go through the wood. And this will be on the inside of the cabinet, and I can come through here with a with a large fender washer and a nut. And that way, I don't have this pointy screw sticking up, and I can cut these flush or just get very small ones, or even put acorn nuts on top. So we'll see. I just happen to have these number eight, eight thirty-two bolts and washers and nylock nuts laying around from something else, but I'm going to go ahead and use them. You could go smaller, probably number six, because those heads don't fit right. But I, it's not a big deal to me that the heads are recessed or not. So I'll go ahead and turn these in. Show you what's going on in here. So I've just got the screws through the wood right now, and I'm going to set this foam down on top of here, and we'll get uh, some washers and nuts on this end. All right, so I got these tightened down. What I ended up doing is just putting the small washers on there. Couldn't get the fender washers to fit. But since this is in a cabinet, I don't think it's a high stress area, so we probably won't need fender washers. So what this will do is if when we store things up here, any blankets or anything, nothing's going to interfere with the speaker. Um, I was more concerned with just like dust and dirt grime getting down inside there. So let's look. Quick look at the uh, grills. I think that'll sound nice. So I'll get the head unit installed and I'll make another video. Thanks for watching.